Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. Guys, today I want to show you guys the easiest beginner class setup for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Noob friendly, if you will. Let's hop right into it. Now, you've probably ran into this class every single day that you've ever played Call of Duty. Because this class, some form of variation, is in every lobby ever. But this is it right here. Uh, I personally like to use the MP5. I know a lot of people prefer the MP7 with this setup. I think that's weird because, and that, except for Warzone, obviously. This is for like multiplayer search and destroy hardpoint. I mostly play search and destroy. Uh, but the MP5, this MP5 setup is definitely the way better, like way, way, way better than the MP7. Like for, you know, you're up close because the whole reason you're running this setup is to have a really good up close gun and then having your marksman rifle. And I must say, this, like I said in the beginning, is a beginner's setup it's like a noob friendly and this is super noob friendly as a matter of fact i literally hate running into this class so much that after a year of playing modern warfare running into it over and over again i just recently started using it i'm like i can't fight it anymore you know you try to fight it and no everyone's still using it so you, you know you just get to the point where you just start using the things you hate because they're easier to use so that was the mp5 setup right here we have that FTAC collapsible, a uh, slide of hand stippled 30, the 10 millimeter 30 round mag, and then the Merc 4 grip. This is exactly what I use. I've been using this exact MP5 literally all year round. And then for the Marksman rifle, I believe this is the best setup. This, you know, you could. The only thing I would potentially change up here is if you're running this for hard point, uh, you could get rid of FMJ for either slide of hand or focus. But someone on stream the other day was telling me to run FMJ because I was running slide of hand, but I thought about it. If I'm playing search and destroy, you don't really need slide of hand and search and destroy. So that's what I mainly run this for. And then you have EOD because that's really the only first perk that even matters. I mean, double time, I guess you could use potentially. However, EOD is definitely way better to use. Obviously, you need to have overkill, which by the way, later in this video, I'm going to tell you guys, I have an idea of how overkill, obviously it's too late for Modern Warfare, but I actually have an idea of how overkill could have been balanced without like you know ruining anything i have an idea i'm gonna tell you guys later that later in the video and then finally ant and that's just so you can swap between your mp5 and your marksman rifle quicker and then c4 even though it's nerfed it's still just like the most new friendly equipment because you can check a room without actually being in the room and you don't have to worry about them trying to like run away in time and also c4 sometimes just straight up ignores the od and then finally stem shot so you can live as long as possible now let's actually hop into a game after surfing through about eight different lobbies, I finally found a map that wasn't literally halfway through the game already. I went through about seven or eight games where the lobby was already halfway done, and there was a VTOL ship, whether it was on my team or the enemy team, and I, I, I just don't understand why I have to, like, beg so hard for the beginning of a game. But, you know, we got one finally. Now, guys, with this class, you are... I mean, I would say you primarily run around the MP5. However, I know a lot of people like to primarily run around the Car 98 because you just can quick skill people and get one shot kills usually, which is just so brain dead easy, which is the whole point of running this class. I try. I thought there was a wall there. There was not. I should have stemmed. I'm not used to running stem. I usually run stun and search even though stem is probably better. I just like running stun because I like to like throw it into a room before I enter it sometimes. Oh, that guy was up top. Now, let me tell you guys my idea of how they could have okay crap i thought i had simtex i got him but i died too and i don't care because i was stunned for 85 minutes because i have amped on and not battle hardened but battle hardened doesn't even work in this game now what i was gonna say is i here's my idea on how they could have uh rebuilt wait my teammate just ran past him i have to see this kill cam what actually happened here Bro, he killed us all are you kidding me what so what they should have done for overkill is they should have made it so where is someone right here they should have made it to where I'm getting just destroyed. They should have made it to where if you run overkill, then your score streaks take longer to get. So, for instance, the UAV is a four kill streak. Imagine if you're running overkill, right? Because technically, when you run overkill, it's an easier time. But what if when you ran overkill, the UAV was like a five or a six kill streak? Because then that's like, ah, oh, there's no, I can't kill anyone. I can't find anyone. These guys are playing weird. There we go. Jeez, Louise, that that took a little bit of. That took a little bit of focusing to get him, but I did get him. Oh, this guy's right here to my left. No, wait. I thought I heard a door to my left, so I looked left. Um, but yeah, that would be... I think that would be a good way to balance overkill because, like I said, I mean, it. if you're running overkill, if you think about it, you should have an easier time getting kills. So therefore, a good balance to it would be make it to where, like, your kills or your kill streaks are harder to get. 
Now, it would still obviously be annoying, but it'd be a lot of, or, you know, I feel like it'd be more balanced, but that, that's, that's besides the point. What we're supposed to be talking about here is this new friendly class that I am, um, I was poorly demonstrated at the beginning of this game. But we're gonna do a lot better right here. I did not mean to throw that C4. I play Claw, so my, my middle finger just accidentally slid over to R2 right there. Oh, I don't think C4 can even go all the way up there anymore. Oh, okay. It can. It might have been nerfed, but not that badly. <laughs> And here we go. Now you just have this car 98 for these like long range shots. Like when you want to play super duper safe and lame. Or if like I said, you know, most people just run around and quit scope because freedom. You know, you can do whatever you want in Call of Duty. They don't care. I suck. <laughs> Boom. Get him out of here. Is that other guy here? No, I don't know. So my team is getting absolutely smoke. Dude, I, I didn't mean to throw that C4 again. Can I actually pick it up back up? I can. Anyone else going to spawn here? Three, two... One. Oh, there you are. Oh, I got a hit marker. That that wasn't very nice. I think he jumped. Did he jump like right as I took the shot? So I shot him in the like stomach instead of the chest. Well played. Obviously he didn't do that on purpose. But if he did somehow, so if somehow his brain is that large that he did that on purpose, good on him. Good for you, pal. I need to help my team win here. I mean, we're we're all like just kind of running around playing for kills as you normally do in Call of Duty. But I, I really want to win this game. You know, I'm trying to show you guys the best new friendly class. And that doesn't work as well if we lose. I'm going to place a C4 right here on top. Oh, yeah, I hear him coming in. I'm going to sit right here. Dude, he just, I mean, he just came bunny hopping in. I mean, that's, <laughs> that guy came bunny hopping in like he owns this place. Like, it's his house. Is, is it your house? I mean, you're not going to peek. Hello? There you are. He peeked, but Donald Duck was behind me and got me. I'm spawning out in the middle of nowhere. My teammates, they don't care. They do not care about winning this game. I mean, at this point, I, I truly don't think it's possible for us to win anymore. I mean, it's 100 to 14, and my teammates, I mean, they, they're like, they're not playing for time, and they're definitely not playing for kills either. Oh, wait, we have two people on our team. One has two kills, or two of them have two kills, and one of them has zero kills. That was almost bad right there with that. I'm, that guy almost turned on me. So that, I mean, so at that point, that, I mean, that's, you just chalk that up to skill-based matchmaking and just call it a day. Because there's nothing I could, like, literally nothing I could do at this point. I mean, when my teammates just are not trying to get on the hill, and they're also not capable of getting kills either, you know, what do you do? Wait, this guy's still right here, isn't he? Is this guy still, he is still here. What a weird fella. <laughs> oh, that car's about to blow up. I'm so dead, aren't I? Here we go. Stim shot for days. Don't want this car 98 out. Oh, I should have had it out. Should have. Never mind. I'm a beast. I don't even need it out. I don't even need it out. Is this guy still here? Oh, crap, crap, crap. He saw me, didn't he? He did. He saw me, and I missed a lot of my shots there. So there we go. I got us. I got us quite a few points right there. I'm trying my absolute hardest. I'm gonna make sure we win this game. Let's let's do this one for the squad. This one is for the squad right here. We're gonna go prone, and we're gonna just listen for the ladder. Is all all I can really do. Just sit here. Play real. Oh, no. All right, stem. Stem shot. Do that. I'm going to blow up the C4 just randomly at some point to see if maybe someone's crouch walking up the stairs. Let's randomly blow it up now. No hits. No hits. I mean, we're just playing for time. I, at this point, they have a UAV, which really sucks. I mean, look at the kill feed. My teammate's getting wiped right now. I looked at the kill feed at the wrong time. That guy came in. I mean, what is my teammate doing just going prone back here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Hello? What are you fellas doing? Let's... Let's try our let's try our best to get a dub ski. Oh oh oh! These uh, my teammates are the type of guys or gals who they got participation trophies growing up. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, I don't really have to try that hard because whether we win or lose, all that matters is that we're having fun. That's the kind of people I have on my team. That that's like super obvious because none of them. I mean, they these guys. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way. Oh no, I'm I'm dead. Ah, uh, okay. Here, let's do. Dang, I wanted to hit him with the old C4, but I wasn't quick enough with it. I almost got a double kill while stunned, and my teammate finally did kill the second guy. Jeez, that was that was tough. That was tough to look at. Are you are you gonna? I don't know if that is gonna go through. No, it didn't. It's okay though. I got Deddy. I'm just gonna speed my way up through here. This guy is right in the doorway. Let's just check this out. This will get me. There, I'm in the hill, and I can just check this. No one's coming through. I'm getting stunned again. I that that is one con to this is I cannot run battle harden. Now, I mean, you guess you still could technically run battle hard, and obviously you're just at a disadvantage with, you know, swapping your guns. It takes longer to swap your guns, but maybe, I mean, maybe, you know what I should actually, what I should do is I should just run trophy system on this. 
Let me. I hate that I keep actually hitting that button. Let me. Let me run trophy system. That should actually help quite a bit. Even though this game is already basically done. I mean, let's look at the scoreboard again. I have 19 kills. B William has 18 kills. Nine, eight, and four kills. I have a minute 28 in the hill. The guy in second place has one second in the hill. Uh, next two have zero seconds in the hill, and the guy in last has zero seconds in the hill. I mean, there's literally. I mean, I you know you can't you can't uh can't blame my new friend. This is still the most new friendly class. I'm letting you guys know that. I just literally have the okay. I just literally have the worst team in Call of Duty history right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are the type of people who are definitely like they're, these are your your old man just got off of work. They're just you know they got off work. They're getting a beer and they're playing with their boys. That's that's who I have on my team. These are the type of people who I would like basically. Wow, you just got smoked. These are the type of people who I would basically pay to be on the enemy team. If that were if that were a possibility, if they're like, you know, you can pay to who, have whoever you want on the enemy team. I would have my teammates right here. But sometimes that's just how it works. I mean, literally look at the scoreboard. I went, like I'm talking casually. Just know on the inside, I am raging so hard. It's unbelievable. I have a meta 28. These guys all did so terrible. It's not even real. But nonetheless, I wanted to show you guys the most friendly, noob friendly, beginner friendly class setup you can make in Call of Duty. Because, you know, here in just a couple weeks, we're we'll playing some Cold War. It's going to be exciting. There's going to be another noob friendly class setup. That's probably going to look exactly like this, like an MP5 or just an SMG with a sniper rifle. Because they gave us Lawbreaker again, which is AKA Overkill. But now in Cold War, you can run Overkill and Ghost at the same time. So perfect, dude. There's literally no nerf to it. So hopefully. Maybe they'll get the idea, which it's not going to happen, but maybe imagine if the con to running overkill was you had to get extra kills during your kill streaks. That would be, that'd be lit. Guys, don't forget to use code EMGG at checkout for G Fuel Scuff, DX Racer, and Meta Threads for a free discount, and it'll help us out. Tweet at me if you do. Thank you guys for watching today's video. We are super close to 600 subscribers, so please, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, text this to your friends, tweet it at them, Instagram it to them, whatever you want to do, Snapchat it to them. If you're still running Snapchat, just let all your friends know. Send them over here, hit, tell them to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 600 subscribers tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. I will be streaming over on Theta. The description is down below, but it is rudypatootie.theta.tv. Hope to see you guys all there. And also, the signups for the November 28th tournament, the 4v4 Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War tournament for $200. $0 to sign up, $200 you could potentially win. Those times are going to be in the description down below as well, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.